It was August 1977. A radio telescope at Ohio State University picked up something no one had ever heard before. A 72-second signal, faint yet striking, at precisely 1420.456 megahertz. That's the hydrogen line, the frequency many scientists regard as the most logical channel for civilizations to say hello across the stars. When astronomer Jerry Amon spotted the anomaly on the computer printout, he circled it and jotted down a single word in the margin. Wow. What was it? A message from intelligent life? An unusual cosmic event? A comet drifting past? Decades of follow-up observations never heard it again, leaving the mystery unsolved. All we know for certain is where it came from, the direction of Sagittarius, a crowded stretch of sky near the center of our galaxy. 50 years later, the universe throws another mystery, an interstellar traveler, 3 Eye Atlas, now sweeping through our solar system. And unlike its predecessors, Oumuamua and Borisov, it defies easy comparison. And its path? It traces back towards Sagittarius, the same patch of sky tied to the WOW signal. Welcome to territory. This is your space. In May of 2025, NASA's Transition Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, was doing its usual job, staring at distant stars for the telltale dimming of exoplanets. But hidden in its data from May 7th to June 2nd was a faint moving speck. Astronomers later realized it was something drifting inside our own solar system, glowing faintly even at nearly six astronomical units from the sun. At that distance, water ice should be frozen solid, and yet this object was already active. Then came July 1st. A 20-inch telescope belonging to NASA's Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System Atlas detected something extraordinary. Within 24 hours, orbital models revealed what the data made clear. It was moving too fast to be bound by the sun. On July 21st, the Hubble Space Telescope imaged the comet and revealed a teardrop-shaped coma, already streaming gas into space, more than 400 million miles from the sun. Early hints showed a sunward-facing plume. The real transformation came weeks later when attention shifted south. On August 27th, Gemini South, perched on Cerro Pachon in the Chilean Andes, captured the most detailed images yet. Using the Gemini multi-object spectrograph, astronomers recorded 3 i atlas in ultraviolet, blue, red, and near-infrared light. The result was unmistakable, a delicate anti-solar tail stretching more than 50,000 kilometers into space. The coma, once compact, now spanned nearly 19,000 kilometers. In just weeks, Atlas had gone from a faint speck to a fully realized comet with a streaming tail, the classic signature of a body under solar pressure. Meanwhile, NASA's Sphere X mission mapped an enormous cloud of carbon dioxide around the comet, stretching nearly 350,000 kilometers into space. On August 6th, the James Webb Space Telescope turned its infrared spectrograph toward Atlas. What it found was startling. Carbon dioxide dominated, with a CO2 to water ratio of about 8 to 1, among the highest ever measured. Webb also picked out carbon monoxide, OCS, and dust. But water, the lifeblood of comets, was a mere trace. Then Hubble refined its measurements. The telescope cannot directly see the nucleus, hidden as it is by the coma, but it can constrain its brightness. From that, astronomers set limits. The nucleus is tiny, no larger than 2.8 kilometers in radius, and possibly as small as 160 meters. That means its diameter lies somewhere between 0.32 and 5.6 kilometers. For comparison, that's smaller than most solar system comets. Yet Atlas is outgassing like a giant. It's as if a snowball the size of a town were venting gas at the rate of a mountain-sized comet. The European Southern Observatory's very large telescope added more intrigue. 
Spectra showed nickel gas in the coma, but curiously, no iron. In most comets we've studied, nickel and iron show up side by side, twin elements born together in the furnace of supernova explosions. Their separation here is odd, and perhaps points to chemistry shaped in an alien nursery, one very different from our suns. Is this anomaly a clue for a possible technological origin of 3i Atlas? Maybe not, but taken together, these observations paint a portrait of a comet unlike any we've seen. Small, but unnaturally active. Poor in water, but rich in carbon dioxide. Carrying an unusual chemical fingerprint. And arriving on an orbital line suspiciously close to the plane of our planets. Yes, 3i Atlas slices into the inner solar system on a steep retrograde path. Astronomers have pinned several key milestones to their calendars, landmarks to watch as this visitor races through our cosmic neighborhood. October 3rd, 2025, Mars flyby. Just after sunrise over Valles Marinius, the comet will plunge past the red planet, a mere 18 million miles away. From orbit, Maven and Tian Win 1 will see its dusty coma start to glow faintly pink in the Martian dawn. October 29th, Perihelion. Four weeks later, 3i Atlas will sling behind the sun, skimming to 1.36 astronomical units, which is about 130 million miles from the photosphere. Here, its speed peaks near 152,000 miles per hour. At this point, the comet is lost to Earth-based telescopes, hidden by solar glare, but spacecraft on Mars and at L1 will keep a watch as jets of vapor erupt from the freshly warmed crust. December 19th, 2025, Earth Distance Check. With its tail now fully unfurled, 3i Atlas will pass Earth at a comfortable 170 million miles, too far for a naked eye view, but close enough for the James Webb Telescope and Rubin Observatory to rake its coma for isotopic clues. March 16th, 2026, Jupiter Pass. Finally, the visitor will fly past Jupiter, 33 million miles above the gas giant's clouds. If NASA approves a late course tweak, the Juno spacecraft could swing out to sample the comet's dust stream, providing our sole, up-close look at material that formed beyond our sun. After perihelion, 3i Atlas will swing back into interstellar space, never to return, leaving behind terabytes of observations and a trail of unanswered questions. What especially captures the imagination is that its approach comes from the same general part of the sky as the famous WOW signal of 1997, the constellation Sagittarius. To some scientists, including Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb, that coincidence is worth pondering. As Loeb himself puts it, could 3i Atlas be natural, but coincidentally aligned with a region where a signal once sparked global intrigue? Yes. Could it be part of something bigger, a message in motion, a beacon, a probe? We can't rule it out, and that's what makes this fun to think about. Meanwhile, some astronomers suspect the object could be older than the solar system itself, a relic from the thick disk of the Milky Way, wandering billions of years before finding its way here. Now, 3i Atlas is on approach to perihelion. On October 29th through the 30th, 2025, it'll pass about 1.36 astronomical units from the Sun to Earth perfectly safe, but close enough for us to keep it under constant watch. As it swings around the sun, its activity will intensify, its gases pouring out faster, its tail lengthening under the pressure of the solar wind. For astronomers, this is a rare chance. Under stress, a comet reveals itself, and as Atlas flares under the sun's heat, it may finally confess its secrets. What's it made of? Where it came from? and perhaps even why it has survived so long on its lonely journey. In less than a decade, three interstellar visitors crossed our skies, each one different, each one a clue to the diversity of worlds beyond our sun. And thanks to our telescopes, we're seeing this latest traveler not as a fleeting blip on a graph, but as a living comet, 
a relic of an alien world, passing once through our skies before vanishing forever into the dark. What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear them. If you enjoyed this video, consider becoming a member to support our work. And don't forget to subscribe to Territory, because this is your space.